Hello everyone, as so many of you have requested, here's the tutorial of the bass groove that I've played in the Charles Berthoud Halloween bass collab. It is a funky spooky finger funk bass line, enjoy it and do it well. <laughs> Okay, this bass line is divided into four bars. The first bar has two chords, the D minor and the E half diminished. The D minor, mainly I'm playing it the D melodic minor. So the first bar is the D minor and the E half diminished. The second bar is a B flat. Yeah, is a B flat major. The third bar is a G minor. And the first bar is the C seventh. Okay, so the first bar has two chords. The first chord is the D minor, uh, melodic minor. So I played D, A flat, A, D flat, octave, then I come back to the D. The second part of the first bar, the E, uh, half diminished. So, in the first bar I have these two chords. And I move to the B flat, the second bar. I play the higher octave of the B flat with the D, the third. And I do these ghost notes. Three ghost notes. Then I go back to the lower note of the B flat. The first ghost note is on the G string, the second on the D string, and the third ghost note is on the A string. To hit the low B flat. So from the beginning. Okay, and after hitting the low B flat, I do this phrase, this lick. This is the melodic minor. I started it from the G. Hammer on, all of it is like legato. Last note is the F. After the F, I go to the third bar, which is the G minor. Okay, so from the beginning slowly. The G. G, octave chromatic from the F. D, D sharp E. So. Okay. Once I play this chromatic, I do four ghost notes again. And before hitting the last bar, the last chord, which is the C. So. One, two, three, four, C. One, two, three, four, C. C octave, two ghost notes, C octave, two ghost notes, C sharp, C sharp, and four ghost notes again. From the G string, G, D, two A's, ghost note on the G, ghost note on the D, and two ghost notes on the A. So from the G, I will play from the third bar. The last 
last note of the pattern of the bass line is the D and I do the tap on the 19th fret A and D and when I play the D I play it as a hammer on so I can put the tap the tapping here on the 19th fret so the whole thing is That's it. Three, four. Enjoy it. Ha <laughs> ha 